It's been a bit of a tough day. I've just uh, arrived home after a four hour battle defending one's good name. Definitely a case of uh, David and Goliath, but uh, like Malcolm Gladwell, who, link below, has an excellent take on this whole story. You might be a small player, but it's your integrity and skill set that helps you slay the giant idiot. So, with that being said, with marketing and branding, you need theatre, you need that little bit of a kapow, you need to be able to, it's not really clickbait, but you want to be able to grab your market's uh, attention. Today, we're going to meet a smaller localized player who really gives us the perfect example of how he plays the game to a very high standard, Bartu Kesselman from Vintage Projects. But first, I think I'm going to need to get rid of this food coloring. Well, that feels better. Let's go meet Bartu from Vintage Projects. construction site. We need to make sure we've got this right safety equipment. The guys are setting up on site. I'm just going to quickly get a kit up. Safety first. Raised by wolves in the pender, born to kill, won't feel your pain. Civilized but a little restless. Don't test my skills, don't doubt my bones. Raised by wolves, independent, born to kill, won't feel your pain. Civilized, but a little restless. Don't test my skills, don't pick my brain. Hi, Bartu. Thank you very much for joining me today and just uh, being present to be able to answer a couple of questions on uh, social media and flooring because obviously you've been very successful in that field. I've been following you for quite some time. You're present on LinkedIn, on uh, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, all my favorites. Um, why do you do it? We found that um, the best marketing at the moment is digital marketing, social media marketing. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's got a phone. We found it so easy without spending lots of money to put things out there and get traction. And do you pay for any special apps or do you have somebody managing it for you or is it just yourself? Just myself. Um, important thing about social media is to try and do something at least once or twice per day. Per day. People need to see you. Um, they must get to know you. So when you do your social media shots and things like that, it's, it's, it's good to do it the same way, do your logo the same way, do you the presentation the same way. The people, when they go through your social media, they scan very really quickly. Yeah. So they can pick up, oh, another video or another shoot from Vintage Projects or from Bartu, and they can go and click on it. If, you, if you're talking to other installers or retailers or uh, floor providers, mm -hmm. Um, how important is the branding and your image that you're putting out there? Besides social media, obviously you do it in uh, other yeah. forms, like your vehicles, etc. You get various degrees of people entering the market, from your bucky brigade guys to your biggest companies. Yeah. And to make yourself count and visible, you need to brand yourself. People need to recognize you. So when you are busy uh, thinking about taking photographs mm -hmm. for your social media platforms, is there anything in particular, an angle, a statement? What are you trying to share with the market? Mm -hmm. um, is it just like, this is my next project? Mm -hmm. Or are you, is there other levels of I think communication you're trying to do? I think there's various communications. They are um, just the normal, I'm driving now, I'm going to a site, it's an exciting new project, we're sharing what we are doing. People want to know where you are. And then also just um, sharing your, your human side 
Yes, oh, making it personal. Not making it this big, fancy, very professional shoot. People want to connect with you. They, and they, want, to see, well, yeah, they want to see the human factor, and that's important. And then also we'll shoot certain things that we see in the trade. We've got a problem here that was caused by, say, a leaking pipe. Why was it there? What was the happening here? What do people need to look out for when they install wooden floors? And um, here today we've got a little bit of an installation going with uh, some beautiful Augie engineered oak. Yes. Um, so you're busy just setting it up today uh, with regards to planning your, 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 your structure. Yes. Um, what kind of product is this? That's engineered with board. Um, it's oak. There's one specific one that we're putting down here. It's a 10 mole floor. It's engineered, pre-finished floor. Augie is one of the few companies that actually been audited at their place in the yes. house, so they, they've got a certificate to show that. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Um, I've enjoyed being uh, Bob the Boulder uh, <laughs> today with my, my big head. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Sure. Hey, guys. That's me for being Bob the Boulder for today. We're going to go back to the studio. Boo! <laughs> Bartu Kesselman's team is organized, prepared, doing a fantastic job. And that's exactly what you've got to be doing with your social media. And even though you can do it for no expenditure other than the data uh, to upload, you've got to be prepared. You've got to follow some key points. And Bartu went through a couple of key points with that. We were just like really spot on. You know, it's, it's about being consistent. It's about doing it on a regular basis. So you need to put in those hashtags. You know, like we've got uh, uh, the, the, the flooring revolution hashtag. The hashtags are very important that you can put them out there into cyberspace and people can pick up on the keywords that they're looking for information or images or to connect on and then it kind of all filters back to you. And that's how you expand your network with those hashtags. So hashtags, 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 really, really important. So with Bartu, he was going and he was saying, Really, you gotta you gotta be you gotta be brand conscious. Like when you're going out onto site, it's about having your T-shirt or your look and feel, or a little bit of branding on your on your vehicle, or even on your invoices. You know that little name that gets constantly seen out there as you push out your invoices and your quotes, and as your your teams are seen out in the marketplace or seen on job sites, commercial job sites, they want to be identifiable. You've got to be proud. You know that's kind of like what we're doing over here with uh, the Flooring Africa branding, the merchandise. Something that uh, people can start recognizing out in the marketplace and say, hey, that guy, he's following the Flooring Revolution. He's conscious about uplifting the skills within our industry. You know, that's a cool guy, you know, or there goes a professional in his corporate clothing. You know, it gives our team something to bind us all together. Really looks good. When we're getting out there, we've got to make a connection with the audience, okay? So it does need that little bit of theater. It does need to have an interesting image, something that's not just like a plain, simple, like, you know, photograph of a room with planks or whatever. It's got to have people. It's got to have a little bit of a, like, a dynamic angle, something that when the people are scrolling, when they are scrolling through their feeds, they're going to stop on your photograph, okay? It's no point that they just scroll out right on past. You've got to engage them. You've got to connect with them. And that doesn't take money. That doesn't take any fancy cameras or anything. It just takes a little bit of preparation, like what Bart is doing in his, his job site. Preparation on all angles. It's about that preparation of dynamic angle. Let's maybe clean up the site a little bit. Let's just make sure that it's giving off the right image of our brand. Even if we want person. We still have a brand. We still have something that we want to be proud of. So remember, this is our portfolio that we're putting out to the marketplace. So it really needs to be clean, well thought out and focused. You know, much like Deadpool, when they first launched uh, the first movie, they didn't have a massive marketing budget. They just used clever content marketing. Deadpool. Lo siento. Amor, lo siento. Guy, motor mouth. He is brilliant and and so simple. 
You know, so simple. And these are the kind of techniques that we can engage where we don't have to spend loads amount of money. We just need to be clever. Think outside the cardboard box. Something that we're not gonna have our audience scroll past. Oh, hello. I know, right? Just to recap, the whole David and Goliath scenario. In marketing, in social media, all right? There's room for the small guy. Just to be laser beam with a slingshot, get it right between the eyes kind of thing. You wanna be clean, clever, brand conscious, hashtags, 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 okay? And you can outplay a lot of these massive corporate accounts because they've got a machine in the background going, clicking over. They're very corporate, very boring images, very boring uh, words and content. Peter. Any power you want to tell us about? I don't, I don't have one. Um, I, I just saw the ad. You're in. It's rather have a small audience that is like really your market than people following you from all over the world where it actually has no value. Are they ever going to buy a floor from you? No. You want the interior uh, designers, the architects, uh, the, the community around you to see your content. And the hashtags you say, I'm from South Africa, I'm from Cape Town. I'm from Strand, or I'm from Belleville, Durbanville, wherever. You know, you wanna really narrow it down with those hashtags, okay? Because that puts your content right in that spot where you're gonna get those customers. Please subscribe, follow us, click the bell, and hey, hashtag Flooring Revolution.